Hi everyone, so now I am filming a knitting update. It is Wednesday, May 21st, and I'm going to talk about what I'm knitting right now. Um, so, I just broke my nail! Okay, sorry. Had a little technical difficulty there. Anyways, um, so, last thing I knitted was the Star Wars hat, which I finished and gave to my friend, and she loved it. And so I'm, I have an order for another one that I'm making for a friend of mine. Um, I have to work on the charts for that one because I'm changing the design around a little bit. And so it's kind of like making it over from scratch. And then I have more colors to incorporate with this one than I did with the other one. The other one was just black yarn and a variegated rainbow colored yarn. And so there was no color planning. Uh, this one, it has maybe about four colors in it. And so I'm going to have to kind of plan which color is going to go where and so that's going to be a challenge, but it should be fun. So I'm looking forward to doing that. But currently what I am knitting is the Knit Picks Cozy Cocoon Shrug. Um, so as I've said before in my other videos, I've never made a sweater for myself or for anybody. And one of my goals this year is to complete a sweater. I'll probably make one for my kids because it's easier to start with um, children's things first because they're smaller. So, I, uh, but I've had this kit for a long time, um, years, actually. Uh, Knit Picks sold it as a kit, and it came with the pattern and the yarns that you used for it. Um, and then I just had never made it. So, I was like, you know what, I'm going to make something different, and, because I've been making a lot of hats and socks. And so, I was like, I'm going to try this, uh, shawl kit and kind of knock this thing out and see how it goes. So, um, it fell on the ground. I have to pick it up. <laughs> but, yeah. So anyway, so I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like really quickly. Um, and then I'll show you a picture of what the finished product is going to look like. So this is the what I'm knitting so far. Right now it's just like a rectangle of knitting. Hang on a sec. So here it is. Um, I have it on circular needles. I have it on, um, oh, what size are they? I want to say they're U.S. size 8, 32-inch circular needles. Um, they're Addy Turbos, which I absolutely adore. They're, like, my favorite circular knitting needle are Addy Turbos. They're kind of expensive. They're, like, 20 bucks a piece. Um, but they're awesome. So, <laughs> I try to have as many pairs of Addy Turbos as I possibly can. But, honestly, it would cost a small fortune to own all the ones that I want because they're, like, $20 each. But they're really, really good needles. They just, ugh. They're very smooth, um, and the joints are the best part. Because I usually, I use Knit Picks, um, circular needles, and they're good. I like them. I have lots, several pairs. But what I don't like is the yarn catches a lot on this part where the cable and the needle, I don't know if you can see it. This part right here where the cable and the needle connects, um, I notice on my Knit Picks needles, um, that it does catch a little bit. Um, I never have that problem with any of the Addies that I own. So, Addies are just, they're perfection. So, um, and I really like the cable. The cable's not very, um, stubborn. Um, the cable is really, really flexible and has a lot of give to it. And they're just, it's just an awesome needle. So, anyways, um, this is what it looks like. This is made with Knit Picks Wool of the Andes yarn in, let me see the color. Um, Aurora Heather. And then Knit Picks Shadow Lace Yarn, Lace Weight Yarn, um, Shadow Tonal or something like that. But I don't know the name of the actual colorway. It's some kind of green, obviously. So, um, anyways, here it is. This is what it looks like so far. It's very simple. It's all stockinette stitch. Um, and you just alternate between the, um, the lace yarn and the, the Wool of the Andes, the Worsted Waste, Worsted Waste. Um, if you, you can see where the lace yarn is, it's very thin, like you can see through it. Um, and so this is a lightweight shawl, which I like. Um, it's not going to be like the super heavy, make you sweat kind of shawl because I live in San Diego and so we don't have super cold weather. So honestly, sometimes for a knitter, it's kind of sad because there's all these really, really super cool things to knit, but I don't wear a lot of sweaters. Um, in San Diego, I don't have a lot of options to wear mittens or, you know, scarves and things like that. I mean, we do have our cold months, but it's not like ridiculously cold. So, a lot of the things that I knit for people is kind of like, oh, thanks, it's like, I'm not really going to use this, because it just doesn't get that cold here. Um, so, I like that this is a very light, it's going to be a lightweight shawl, it's not going to, or a lightweight shrug, it's not going to be this, like, super bulky, heavy thing. Um, so, yeah, I am enjoying knitting this. I usually knit it and watch Parks and Rec, because um, it's, it doesn't, 
the pattern's really simple. It's just alternating between, you know, the two yarns and knits. There's no pearls. I mean, it's just, well, actually, there is pearling, but it's just a very simple pattern. Stock in a stitch. So this is like a mindless knit, you know, where you can, like, sit and watch TV. You don't have to really pay a whole lot of attention to it. Um, so usually I sit and watch Parks and Rec, and, um, and I knit. And so I'm enjoying making this project. I'm looking forward to the end result. And then let me show you what it's supposed to look like when it's absolutely finished. I pulled up a picture. It's on my phone. Um, let me see if I can get it so you guys can see. Okay. Move it over. So this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. Um, gorgeous, right? And there are some that are some beautiful colors. Um, so if I finish this and I like it, I'm probably going to try to make some more. Um, with some of the different color options that they have here. Here's a red one that's really pretty. Um, so, yeah. The kit is no longer available on Netflix. Um, Netflix. Ooh. Silly. Um, the kit is no longer available on Knit Picks. Um, but the pattern is still available and the yarns are still available. So, you can order the pattern and they have, uh, software on their website. It's like a kit builder. And you pick the yarns that you want, and they put it in a kit with a pattern, and, you know, that's how much it, you know, and then they, you know, you can put it all in your cart at once. So, um, you can still get the pattern and, um, those yarns on the Knit Picks website, but you can't order the actual kit that they made, because, like I said, it came out several years ago. I actually have a couple of kits that are kind of like that, so, um, that I bought years ago and just never sat down to knit them. So, I'm kind of glad that I'm, like, stash busting and getting through some of these things that I ordered a long time ago to make. So, um, I'm enjoying it. It's been a couple of days, actually, since I picked it up, sadly. So, um, but I've been reading a lot. So, it just seems like if I'm reading a lot, I'm not knitting a lot. If I'm knitting a lot, I'm not reading a lot. I need to find a way to incorporate them both. So, if I can figure out a way to knit and not look at my knitting and read at the same time, then I'm telling you, um, that would be, like, utopia, for me, so, um, but I'm one of those people that I have to kind of watch, um, kind of a clumsy knitter, so I have to watch what I'm doing, and so it's much easier for me to just watch TV, because I can just kind of, you know, listen and knit, and a lot of people say, well, why don't you do audiobooks, but I just cannot get into audiobooks, so I don't know what it is about, um, audiobooks that I just can't get into, I don't know if it's hearing the, uh, someone else's voice and not my own, um, but it just, it's too easy for me to zone out and not really listen to what's going on and have to go, wait a minute, what? You know, <laughs> and then like rewind it back. So I just have not heard an audiobook yet that I was able to go, I sat through that whole thing and it was the bomb. So I don't think that audiobooks will be something that, um, I'll just ever get into, uh, especially not with my knitting. I think it's, uh, for me, TV is easier. I don't know why, but it is. So for right now, it's knitting in Parks and Rec. Usually it's knitting in the office. But right now it's knitting in Parks and Rec. And I'm rewatching Orange is the New Black uh, because I'm super excited about the release of season two on June 6th. Me and my friends are having a big release party. We're dressing up as the inmates. We're having trivia games. We're going to hide a chicken in the house and have, you know, the guests try to find it for a box of VRA pour strips. We're going to have pie and make signs that say don't throw the pie. Like, I'm, like, super, super, super getting into uh, this season two release, so I'm really excited about that party, and, um, yeah, so, anyways, this is supposed to be about my knitting, right, not my TV watching, I will talk to you guys later, so happy knitting, um, what are you guys working on, so, uh, guys, have a good week, and, um, when I finish with my shawl, or my, whatever the heck it is, I will post another video about it, and talk about it, and how it fits, and kind of, maybe I'll show you guys my beautiful self, uh, maybe not, but anyways, I'll talk to you later, bye.